Yo, 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 what's up? My name is Grouse and we have some spooky art coming through with a really cool mystical sort of catching themed event. So it's actually a scavenger hunt. So I'm going to cover quickly what a scavenger hunt is for those who don't know. A scavenger hunt is a PvE event where players will be challenged with catching six specific Pokemon as fast as possible. The target Pokemon may require specific properties such as specific natures, IVs, or characteristics. Or they may simply be rare encounters in a specified location. So basically, they're going to tell you to go catch six Pokemon. Specifically, you're going to catch them as fast as possible and return to them. Pretty simple. Players win prizes according to the order of their submissions of all Pokemon. So you have to catch all six before returning. That is, the first player to submit all six targets wins first prize, the second player to do so wins second prize, and so on. So it's a speed run to catch all six Pokemon as fast as possible. The date for this scavenger hunt is going to be on Friday the 25th of February 2022 at 2100 UTC, 1600 ET was like 4 p.m. Eastern, that's my time zone, 2200 CET or 800 AEDT. If you're in that AEDT time zone, it's actually going to be on the Saturday of the 26th of February, not the 25th, keep that in mind. The location for scavenger hunts locations are always all across the world all across all regions it's really important to have all regions done for scavenger hunts which is kind of complicated and obviously alienates a little a bit more players but scavenger hunts require so much more strategy they're, they're really really difficult but they often have a really nice shiny reward or some sort of really nice reward so it's important to keep that in mind uh, and thank you to damien te for hosting he always hosts all the scavenger hunts the ho so onto the basic rules of the event the host will announce a list of the pokemon you have to catch in english global chat at the start of the event hanging out in global chat for this event is, is crucial I always recommend screenshotting the six Pokemon he throws up as well, so you can like kind of refer to those in like a in like a notepad document or some sort of document or or in your browser, like have them screenshotted and uploaded to Imgur. Have them to be able to reference during the event is super super nice instead of having to scroll all the way up in chat or something or just remember you need to catch every Pokemon listed with any property listed. Example specific nature, specific IV, specific catch location, etc. So if they ask for a thirty one. This is a psychic event. So if they asked for a, uh, what's a good example? <laughs> and I guess an Espeon. There's no wild Espeon, I'm pretty sure. What is a wild psychic Pokemon? I'm totally blanking. What if they asked for a Chimekro? So Chimekro is a pretty difficult Pokemon to, to get because it's like very far up in a cave, I'm pretty sure. Uh, in like Mount Coronet or something. Um, but Chimekro is a really annoying. So they could ask for Chimekro. That's one important one to keep in mind. Um, let's say they asked for a Chimekro with 31 special attack. You have to go catch a Chimekro with 31 special attack. It's, it's that simple. Uh, winners from first to fourth place will be the first players to link. You up to speed run. We've already covered that. You must link your entry to the event host via Whisper to submit it. Entries submitted to other staff members will not be accepted. This is super important. You have to whisper Damien TE to submit your entries. Only Damien TE should be getting whispers. Positions from first to fourth place will be determined by the order. Yep, it's a speed run. Only Pokemon caught after the start of the event will be accepted as valid entries. This is super important. If they ask for a Chimekro with 31 special attack and you happen to have one in your PC, that doesn't count. You've got to go catch it during the event after they've announced them all. You must be the OT of all the Pokemon submitted. This is also super important. This uh, discourages or disallows kind of team play. It'd be cool to see a team catching event or team scavenger hunt in the future. Uh, but yeah, this disallows like the having six friends who all go catch one Pokemon and then come together and win a prize. Just kind of a cool idea, uh, but it'd be really bad if it's six first one. So it's understandably a good rule. Players to enter the event with only one account slash character. This is actually super important. Um, you definitely can't multi-box during this event. That would be super against the rules and make things super unfair. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, unevolved, etc. Um, this is super important. I always recommend leaving all of your Pokemon in the PC and label them until it's time to submit them. That's the best way to avoid this on accident. Evolved or unevolved forms of your list of Pokemon will not be accepted as a valid entry. This is super, super crucial. Um, so let's say they were to ask for, um, let's say, for example, let's say they were to ask for an Espeon. Let's say they were to ask for an Espeon and you could only get Espeon in this really weird niche location. I don't think you can get Espeon in the wild, but just theoretically, theoretically, you can only get Espeon in this one location. You'd, you'd have to go catch that Espeon in that weird location. You can't go catch an Eevee and then evolve it into Espeon. That, that would not be accepted as a valid entry. That's why they, well, they wouldn't list a Pokemon that you couldn't catch naturally in the wild. Uh, you can't evolve a Pokemon to meet the requirement is the TLDR. Any Pokemon which does not meet the requirements won't be accepted as a valid entry. This is, once again, a really simple rule. It's a lot of restating really simple rules uh, and various ways to try to get everything across as to try to like fill every hole, every kind of like loophole that could be could be sought out. So 
onto the prizes for this event. First place prize is going to be a gift star you level one with your choice of nature, four moves, and six selectable IVs. I'm going to be totally honest. I'm actually disappointed by this prize. Um, obviously, star me is a really, really cool, really sought after, really powerful uh, competitive Pokemon. And ha having it be able to have like the <clears throat> six times 31 or five times 31 to avoid foul play um, and have zero attack. Um, you could like give it rapid spin, which I think might be an egg move, but it might not be. Um, like, I don't know. It's also genderless, so it's kind of hard to get, I guess. But Staryu has just been in the game for so long. It's one of the most farmed genderless, probably the most farmed genderless Pokemon in the game. Because literally, even back in the day, in like 2014, 2015, people were farming it for Stardust um, before it was even like you could even breed and like get good ones. Yeah, I'm. I don't love this prize personally. Like this, this honestly, this prize personally really discourages me from doing the event, and I don't, I don't, I really don't think I'll be doing it. But I probably wouldn't be doing it anyway. So I don't know. Maybe that's un, it's an unfair criticism. Anyway, it's gonna be a, a gift star you plus seven hundred reward points, which is pretty nice. Second and third place will both get five hundred reward points, which is pretty nice for both those placements. And then fourth place will get three hundred reward points. I do like the the RP kind of rewards and give outs way better like this format the 700 double 500 300 much better than the uh catch event ones which are like 1k 500 and like double 250 anyways that covers every detail and inf all the information about this catch event let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments below like this video if it was helpful to you that would help me out a lot uh and consider subscribing for future pokemon content and stay up to date on future poke mmo events check out all the playlist links below for more pokemon content join my discord to learn about this game at a rapid pace and just join a really cool community and then finally consider becoming a youtube member to me for five bucks a month if you want to go above and beyond thank you all so much for watching have a great day and i wish you the best of luck at this psychic scavenger hunt